for years. The idea was dismissed as pure science fiction too fast, too advanced, too impossible. A hypersonic aircraft that could soar at Mach 6, vanish from radar, and reach the other side of the planet in just hours? It sounded more like something pulled from the pages of a Tom Clancy novel or dreamed up in a Top Gun sequel. But lately, the whispers have gotten louder. Leaks, satellite footage, and carefully worded hints from U.S. defense officials are painting a very different picture, one that suggests the future isn't just near. It may already be flying. So, is the SR-72 Dark Star real? If it is, what does that mean for global security? And why is the Air Force staying so quiet about it? Stay with this story because what's emerging might change the future of warfare forever. It started as nothing more than background noise, whispers in defense forms, mysterious line items and budget reports, a few too many unexplained test flights over restricted airspace. But things escalated when a retired Air Force general casually dropped a bombshell. Next-gen hypersonics are already flying. That's when the speculation hit overdrive. Lockheed Martin's usual silence turned even quieter. At the same time, satellite imagery showed sudden upgrades at facilities like Area 51, longer runways, new hangars, and expanded support zones. The timing wasn't coincidence. The dots started connecting. What was once written off as vaporware now had a shadow. And when military officials stop flat out denying something and start dodging questions instead, you know the truth is circling just overhead. They call it the Son of Blackbird, but that nickname doesn't do it justice. The SR-72 isn't just a sequel, it's a generational leap. Born from the black ops brilliance of Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, the same minds behind the SR-71, the U-2, and the F-117 Nighthawk, this machine was engineered with one goal, control the skies faster than any rival. Unlike its predecessor, which was purely built for reconnaissance, the SR-72 is imagined as a dual-role titan. It can scout enemy terrain in real time, drop into strike mode in seconds, and vanish before radar can even register its presence. This is not a plane that sneaks in at blast through the edge of space. Think of it as a ghost with claws, capable of gathering intelligence or delivering payloads at blistering speeds, all without risking a pilot's life. Let's break it down. The SR-72 is reportedly engineered to hit speeds over Mach 6 more than 4,600 miles per hour. That's faster than a bullet, faster than most missiles, and far beyond the reach of any current air defense system. At that velocity, it could slice through the upper atmosphere and cross continents in under two hours. From Los Angeles to Beijing in just over three? That's not science fiction, that's potentially classified reality. But speed is only part of the story. Leaked reports suggest it may be armed with hypersonic weapons, possibly capable of engaging targets at similarly breakneck speeds. And it's not just about firepower, the aircraft is rumored to be coated in radar-absorbing materials, guided by an AI-enhanced navigation system that can adapt in real time. This isn't just the fastest aircraft the U.S. has ever attempted to build. It's the most intelligent, most survivable, and most dangerous thing the skies have never seen. Why would the U.S. Air Force keep something this massive, this revolutionary, under wraps for so long? The answer lies in one-word leverage. In an era where China and Russia are pouring billions into hypersonic weapons, unveiling a game-changing aircraft too early would be like tossing your cards on the table before the other side has even bet. The SR-72 was never meant to be a headline. It was meant to be a secret weapon perfected in silence. Testing likely occurred in tightly controlled, remote environments far from the public eye or foreign satellites. The quieter the development, the bigger the strategic edge. And there's another layer, psychological warfare. Keeping adversaries guessing about what you can deploy and when creates fear, hesitation, and confusion. Because when your enemies don't know what's coming or how fast it can hit, they're already at a disadvantage. Hypersonic missiles are rewriting warfare, but they're still limited. Fire once, and that's it. No second chances. But the SR-72 flips that script. This isn't just a missile. It's a reusable aircraft that can enter contested airspace, complete its mission, and fly back home faster than any defensive system can react. That kind of capability shifts military strategy from one-shot weapons to long-term dominance. 
Rivals like Beijing and Moscow are already worried. Not because of what the US is saying, but because of what it isn't. They know what hypersonics can do. They've seen what Skunk Works has done in the past. Now combine Mayak 6 speed, AI-powered evasive maneuvers, and potential stealth tech. You don't just have an aircraft, you have a weapon that operates outside the current rules of engagement. A threat that could change everything, without warning and without a trace. That's the billion-dollar question. If the rumors are true, the SR-72 may not be just a future project, it could already be real. Some reports suggest test flights began as early as 2017, possibly with an unmanned demonstrator. While Lockheed Martin hasn't confirmed it, they've also stopped denying it. And recent satellite imagery showing expanded infrastructure at Skunk Works facilities hints at a major development phase. Experts believe a public reveal might happen in the next few years, possibly by 2025. Full operational deployment could follow by 2030 timed perfectly to counter the rise of rival hypersonic platforms in China and Russia. Is that timing just luck? Or is it part of a master strategy to reassert American air dominance right when the global balance is shifting? Either way, something is coming, and it's coming fast. If the SR-72 reaches full operational status, it won't just shift global power, it could demolish the current balance entirely. Right now, nations are scrambling to develop hypersonic defense systems, but none are designed to counter something like this. The SR-72 may fly too high, too fast, and with too little warning for current technology to track, much less intercept. That gives the US a powerful edge not just in reconnaissance, but in launching precision strikes within minutes. It's the ultimate quick reaction force, capable of neutralizing threats before they even become headlines. Then came Top Gun, Maverick, and everything exploded literally and figuratively. That mysterious, futuristic aircraft in the opening scenes, nicknamed Dark Star, it wasn't just a prop. Lockheed Martin worked directly with the filmmakers to design it, and they weren't making things up from scratch. The concept was based heavily on real SR-72 research and prototypes. The SR-72 Dark Star is no longer just a concept. It's a warning shot from the future proof that the next generation of air dominance isn't coming. It's here. With its speed, stealth, and multi-role capabilities, it changes the rules of the game before the other players even realize the game has started. So what do you think? If this tech goes fully operational, what kind of world are we stepping into? Drop your thoughts in the comments, share this with your crew, hit that like button, and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon because we've got more secrets to break.